Hello guys, Sam here at Lancaster Automart. I've got this gorgeous Jaguar XE to bring you today. This is the 2 litre D and it's the Portfolio Auto Edition. Okay, this one was registered in 2017 on a 66 reg. It's very, very cheap at 15,265. It's had two previous keepers, 31,285 miles. It's got a full Jaguar service history. It's the automatic one, which is by far the nicest in my opinion. You'll get up to 77, sorry, seven, up to 76.4 miles per gallon, a 0 to 60 of 7.4 seconds, and it's 170 brake horsepower. So it's a perfect, perfect compromise to someone that wants something a little bit more sporty, but also needs something that'll suit the family as well. So at the front, as you can see, the classic chrome grille that the Jaguars have make them look really, really nice. You've also got the daytime running lights around the headlights there as well, which look nice and sharp coming down to the alloy wheel there so it's an 18 inch jaguar alloy wheel loads of tread on all four tires all the way around chrome surrounding the windows rear window tints and you've also got integrated integrate in uh, you've got the door mirrors integrated with the indicators is what i was trying to say there so dual exhaust at the back you've also got rear parking sensors there as well and as you can see you've got that gorgeous jaguar badge and you've also got the xe 20d on there as well I'll just open the boot on the key that comes up for you but loads and loads of space in there guys definitely enough room for the kids when they're doing your heading enough room for some dead bodies or whatever yeah <laughs> what i like about jag is you think about everything you've got a little shopping bag holder just on that side you've also got one on that side as well you've got loads and loads of space in there just under here is all your inflation kit and your batteries okay shut that down see what you guys think of the interior so I'll start at the back. Oh, best unlock the car first. There we go. So I'll start at the back, full lever interior, Isofix on the outer two. You've got the armrest and cup holders in the center there. You've got cargo nets there as well. Just in the center, you've got the fan controls and also a power output. On the door card, you've got the chrome surrounds on the handles. You've also got electric windows and little pockets of storage with integrated speakers into the door cards as well. Opening this up. Okay, guys, as you can see, full electric windows, electric adjustable door mirrors there as well. Just down here, you'll see the central locking and you'll also see the 123M, which are the memory settings for your seats. So your seats are electric and they've got memory settings as well. So whoever drives the car will always be set up to their seating preferences. Well, let me just jump into here for you now. There you go, a bit chilly. So let me just turn the engine on. So foot on the brake and then you've got the little start button here. So keyless start for this one, guys, not entry, but start. But as you can see there, you've got a crystal clear touchscreen display and built into there is absolutely everything that you guys will need. Okay, so your sat nav's down here. As you can see, it's on Mellishaw Lane. Just turn those fans down. There you go. Okay, that was very loud, wasn't it? Okay, so there you go. You've got your sat nav screen there. Really easy to use, crystal clear as well. You've also got your media options, which for this car is auxiliary, USB, CD player, and Bluetooth as well. So you've got every which way to connect your phone or your MP3 player, however you need to do it. You've also got Bluetooth telephone, digital radio, and all your climate control settings are on there as well. As you can see on the left-hand side, you've also got the buttons for the parking sensors and the self-park option. And you've also got at the bottom, just the button for the camera. So give that a press. And as you can see, crystal clear rear view camera, which makes this car an absolute doddle to park. Even my mother could park it. Don't tell her I said that. As we move down, you can see the options for the climate control there. So dual zone, you can have two temperatures, one on this side, one on this side. That way your passengers can have one temperature, you can have another, and it just stops those arguments. You've then got the button there for the, there you go, look, brings that up, heated front seat, turn mine to full, keep the missus's down, that'll annoy you a little bit. Okay, so moving down, as you can see the stop start engine button, volume control, all your different settings are on there for the climate control and the heated seats moving it down still you've got the gear shifter so park reverse neutral drive and sport a little bit further down and we've got the stop start on the left hand side you've got left and right for the drive mode so you've got eco sport normal dynamic that sort of stuff you've got traction control on your right hand side into the middle you've got your electric parking brake and your cup holders 
you've got a lever armrest, and as I open that up, you just see in there an extra little bit of storage. If I spin the camera around, USB and auxiliary input into there as well, and just that extra little bit of storage space in the armrest as well. Now onto the centre computer. So as you can see, I need a little bit of fuel. So it's a very intelligent car. It tells you absolutely everything that you need. You've got miles per gallon reading on there as well. All sorts of information. You've got parking controls and all sorts of stuff built into there. Steering wheel mounted controls for both audio and your cruise control. You've got a heated steering wheel there as well. Automatic headlights, automatic wipers. Only done 31,290 miles. As I say, dirt cheap at 15,265. I'm just going to spin the camera around as well and as you can see up there we've got the panoramic roof i'd normally show you that open but today it is wet 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 so i'm not going to do that because it'll get the car minging all right guys that's everything from me thanks for watching i've been sam and i'll see you next time